made you? God made you. What else did God make? God made all things. Why did God make you and all things? For his own glory. How can you glorify God? By loving him and doing what he commands. Why ought you to glorify God? Because he made me and takes care of me. Are there more gods than one? In how many persons does this one God exist and who are they? In three persons, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Where is God? God is everywhere. Does God know all things and can he do all things? Yes, nothing can be hidden from God. God can do all his holy will. Where do you learn how to love and obey God? Alone. Who wrote the Bible? Holy men who were taught by the Holy Spirit. Have you a soul as well as a body? Yes, I have a soul that can never die. What is your soul? My soul is the part of me that should know and love God. In what condition did God make Adam and Eve? He made them holy and happy. Can Eve stay holy and happy? No, they sinned against God. What effect did the sin of Adam have on all mankind? All mankind is born in a state of sin and misery. What is sin? Sin is any breaking of the law of God. What does every sin deserve? The anger and judgment of God. Does God condemn all people? No, that would be just. Instead, he, pro he graciously promises to save many. What is meant by the atonement? Jesus, Jesus satisfying divine justice by suffering and death in the place of sinners. What is it to repent? Repentance involves sorry for sin, leading us to hate and forsake it because it makes God angry. What is justification? It is God's regarding sinners as if they had never sinned and granting them righteousness. Can anyone be saved by his own righteousness? No, no one is good enough for God. What is adoption? It is God's goodness in receiving sinful rebels as his beloved children is regeneration. It's a change of heart that leads to true repentance and faith. In the light of these truths, what should you do? I should repent of my sin and believe savingly in the Lord Jesus Christ.